Hello, what's up? Todd Bog here, bringing you a new Let's Play of Empire of Sin. Brand new game that just launched today from uh, Paradox Interactive. I'm a huge fan of their designs and uh, also a fan of the general genre of gangsters in, uh, in I'm guessing, the 30s here. Um, so I kind of uh, decided to pick it up and stream it, or basically play it for you guys. So uh, I'm hoping you guys will enjoy a, a first look here and then depending on how the series is going and my schedule, I'll see if I can maybe fit it in as a regular uh, for you guys here. So. Uh, so with that, uh, this is a completely blind playthrough. I've not actually uh, had a chance to mess with anything. Just downloaded it after finishing work. So uh, we'll kind of get started here. So let's go ahead and set up our new game here. So for those of you who don't know, it's kind of a... Basically a game where you are creating your criminal empire. You get to choose how you're going to do it, what kind of racket you're in. So as you can see, she's got brothel and casino as bonuses, things like that. Um, and you basically uh, will go around, there's tactical combat, um, and it's just uh, supposed to be steeped in the, uh, in the flavor of the, the time and the, the genre, so it should be pretty cool for that. So, so first we have Elvira Duarte, uh, Los Lucheros. Uh, she's got Devil's Breath, um, blows a cloud of psychotropic smoke into your target's face. Target will temporarily become your ally, but at a cost. The effect will cause damage over time, eventually killing them. So that's for when she's on the tactical map. Empire bonuses, brothel security costs less, and additional security guards, um, and a peacemaker. So that's kind of neat. Then you got Joseph Saltis. Um, so he's got a nice little charge attack here. He gets additional money on brothels and speakeasy start with an extra level on their upgrades. Um, and then when opening a speakeasy, minus 50% threat generation. So kind of might be where I want to go. Uh, Stephanie St. Clair, uh, Card Sharks. Um, so, Firing Squad, at your command, any friendly or allied characters are within range will open fire on your selected target. Very cool. Uh, you got the brewery storage upgrade costs and casino security costs here. So, pretty cool if you want to do casinos. Um, and then, of course, you got Alfonso Capone. Alphonse Capone. So, Al Capone here. Uh, which is, uh, I believe, in the collector's edition here, which I picked up. So, um, you got Rain of Fire, so just streams of bullets. Brewery production costs and brothel ambience costs uh, are benefits here. And passive faction rating game when in defensive pact, plus one. So, And then hey, Frankie Donovan. Uh, looks like he's uh, he's seen some action there with some stitches there. Um, obviously a melee fighter here with that giant club. Uh, or shillelagh, I'm guessing. Uh, he's got a brewery bonus, speakeasy, and bygones be bygones. Um, so they understand he's a fighter, I guess, and are willing to forgive him for previous wars. Hey, how you, doing? you got Angelo Jenna. Um, so we'll just kind of skip through because there's a few more. Uh, brewery guards, upgrade costs. Goldie Garneau. Goldie Garneau. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's a really cool uh, costume. I like it. So, speakeasy earnings and casino upgrades. Uh, so, show business for her. Killer Queen. Um, fire a shot at each target. Each shot has improved critical chance to ignore. So, you place marks on your enemies. Interesting. Psywing uh, Mock. Uh, so, the Hip Sing Tong. So, that's awesome. Um, and then we got Maggie okay. Dyer, uh, who's got Brothel and Speakeasy, Lion Tamer. Let's do some uh, wow, let's Come just on. see how many they have. Okay, I was going to go through them all, but I wasn't aware they had that many choices. Choice. So, um, so I was looking at the different choices, but um, I guess I didn't dig deep enough into it. So let's see, what do I want here? You know what, we're just going to go with Joseph here. Or should I go with Al Capone, right? Um, kind word and a gun. And you can with a kind word alone. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the big name here for the for the video here. So we'll go ahead and do Al Capone. Uh, so you set your size. So ten neighborhoods. Uh, we can go ten enemy up to thirteen. Okay, that slider makes it look like it would be a lot more. But uh, what's the smallest you can do? Three. Oh, when you do three, then you can go less. Okay, got it. So they're all related there. Okay. Difficulty will be Lieutenant. That sounds good to me. March 17, 1920. Alphonse Capone arrives in Chicago. He left New York to make a name for himself, a name no one would forget. Well, that is the truth. 
Evening, sir. He said Fulton Market, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local lowdown. That's right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local no. lowdown. So he's gonna say it. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangs are looking to make their mark on the city. They haven't met me yet. I'll give them a taste of how we do things in New York. Did you say you're from Brooklyn? Ain't been there in years. How's she holding up? Frankie Yale. Eh, yeah, she's holding steady, friend. My buddy Frankie Yale's running things there now. Swell guy. Gave me my first job. Frankie Yale, huh? The same Frankie Yale that just showed up in Chicago? You're shitting me. Frankie's in Chicago? Well, his name was definitely Frankie. Drove him myself. Italian guy, coming in from New York, right? Carries a box of god-awful cigars with his face blasted on him. Don't tell me there's more than one of these guys. <laughs> nice. That's Frankie. You know where he's staying? Nah, he didn't say. But I can find him for you. If you help me with something. What do you need? There's a gang that's been messing with my cab. Slashing my tires, stealing stuff. They're trying to rattle me. I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Sure. What's in it for me? Apart from Frankie Yale. How about I give you a line on a few crates of booze? That ought to keep you going for a while. All right. You got a deal. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Say, looks like we're almost there. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you. Likewise. Alright, so we have a pretty knowledgeable cabbie there. Just happened to get into the right cab, apparently. So, uh, let's see. Ah. Admiral Drury Brewery. Sal drops Alphonse off on the street. Before long, every house in the street will know the name Capone. Truth. All right, that's us. Nice fur coat. Welcome to the Empire Sin tutorial. Uh, so yeah, we'll go through the tutorial here. Let's have a look around. All right, great. Rotate camera. Zoom in and out. Move to the destination under the arrow by right-clicking. a dangerous place, and in order to survive, you're gonna need to learn how to fight. Fortunately. I know right where you can find one. All right. This so joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. Speakeasy. He gotcha. calls himself the boss of the Meat Packers gang. And his on. thugs aren't going to know what hit them. All right. Press Control to initiate combat. In oh, okay. Empire of Sin, combat is turn-based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above, and the turn order is decided by a character's initiative step. If enemy. Okay, so they got two guys associated with this boss here. I've got a fist attack. And looks like some other attacks here, but looks like we're going to get some melee going here. Looks like it uses the... Uh oh, I do have a revolver here. It uses the um, sort of XCOM style of gameplay. Uh, so gotcha. go ahead and move up here. Can I shoot anybody? Nope, not right now. Um, okay, let's hover over him. So I can attack him for 19 to 20 damage. So, yeah, let's do it. The action bar is below. In combat, you can move or choose an action from the action bar. Some actions require a target. It's your turn. So fire a shot if you've got a target. Okay, so we can... Okay, there we go. We can... Yeah, gotcha. so we'll do that. So we'll run up and smack him in the face. Oof. Nice. Each character has two action points, or AP. Generally, each action takes one AP. Extended moves, special weapons, and some abilities. Okay, so special abilities like my Reign of Fire cost one. 
It does an area effect, overwatch, melee attack, reload, regular attack. Alright, so if I were to shoot him, 100% chance does 14 to 17. So I think the melee attack is going to be better in this case. Only 70% chance, but... Alright, let's do that. Gotcha. There we go. Oh. Oh, you got cover as per as expected. Vital to your survival. Yep. Or half cover, represented by a half shield. You can be flanked by the enemy. So don't get flanked. Uh, let's see. He doesn't look like he's fighting, so it's just the two guards. So I'm on. go here. And let's go ahead and take a shot. Uh, let's do our arena fire. Let's see how that... Oh, wow. Okay, it's like a shotgun. Alright. I think we'll just do a regular shot. Oh. It's left click to shoot. Okay. Here we go. Alright. So. Let's see. Yep, we'll go ahead and just smack him in. Gotcha. Oh. Misclicked. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. That's good. Ah. Oh. Nobody shoots out Capone and lives. Alright. Let's do Arena Bullets just to see what it does. He was suppressed. Alright, so quick combat there. Uh, faction standing uh, getting affected. Uh, the Meat Packers are not happy with me. But I got 177 bucks from uh, knocking them out, so not bad. So we'll go ahead and take when our loot. You erect, you have several options. Let's take this place over and so make it ours. We can take over the place. And let's make this a speakeasy. And looks Taking like a place over costs less than buying it outright. And it's free to keep the racket type the same. Okay. So you could transform it if you wanted to, but it would cost you money, so uh we can rename the building, so we'll go uh Todd Bog Oddbugs. Um, I'll just do top box place. Not the most creative here today, I guess. Now this so. yours, and that's how it's done. You want something? Take it. You're gonna need some guards to keep your speakeasy safe. So open up the racket screen. Okay, so we're gonna open up our racket you screen. Four different ways you can class up the joint, starting with security. The information panel to the right shows your security's current state and what you'll get in the next upgrade. Select upgrade to go to the next level. Okay. Oh, we got money somehow. Okay, that's good. So we'll go ahead and upgrade. That'll give us two external and three internal guards. Okay. You can rush the upgrade by selecting the rush button. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so they keep giving us money to do this stuff. Okay, rush. Alright. Get some band on it and we'll go ahead and rush it. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a band. An actual live band. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Alright, so now we got to exit out. So right click on the door and select exit. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns, too. So we got a couple hired guns, Hugh Miller and Maria Rodriguez. So we'll right-click on Maria here and hire. Or there we go. Up front, monthly take. Gracias. Notice that your crew members have a take. Their price for working with you. The take is based okay. on a percentage of your top Got it. range from professional hitmen to shockingly wayward criminals. They have opinions about personality and traits. Gangsters looking for work out in the world and in the black book. We'll take a look at that. Okay. Later. Now, hire your second crew member. Excellent. So, okay, relationships. 
Clyde Malone's an enemy in love with Bruno Baldini. Friends, friends. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and hire him. Alright. So we got a squad. Boom. Now you got yourself a squad. Just in time to. Your new speakeasy isn't going to last long without alcohol. It's the resource that makes your world go round. Just so happens Ronnie O'Neill's got a brewery close by. Let's right. take it over. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. Okay, so we'll right click. And we're going to travel there, I think. So. Now we'll move to. Is that doing anything? Oh, we gotta click on the actual wheel. Alright. Well, no, that wasn't a great camera angle. Alright. So, my partners are uh, doing their part. Alright. So, obviously, we're going to. We got, what, two? Oh, and this is just a civilian. Okay. So we got two people here. Let's go ahead and select them. We can shoot them twice. That should down him. All right, Hugh. Hugh has got a shotgun. He has different weapons as well. He's got an execution, and it's based on distance to the target, huh? I wonder how that works. Oh, okay. They will die. Let's. Well, Let's get rolling, baby. I don't want to see what this minutes. looks like. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh yeah, that was something. Uh, Maria here has got burst fire. Um, cool. She is running with a looks like a. Tommy gun? Although, what in the heck is that contraption? It looks like a frying pan tied to it. Well, either way, let's go ahead and burst fire. So, got two shots in. Ah. I guess he didn't like you, uh, I think just curb stomping him, huh? Alright, let's see. We didn't get any additional things, so let's just go ahead and shoot twice. Or once. Alright, so we gained uh, more money. We recovered uh, Mauser. Okay, cool. That's a new pistol. Uh, clip size is 10, so that might be better than the current pistol that Al's using here. So, okay, cool. Go ahead and take that. You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the black shop icon. There we go. The shop window, it's time to get yourself some provisions. Check the stats and effects of any item in the shop and the right okay. the shop when you have what you need. All right, look at all the different weapons. You got the Guerrero 98 model 1895 scoped rifle. So, interesting. All right, but they were recommending the med kit. Uh, let's see. Let's see. First aid kit. Let's go ahead and buy that there. All right, and we'll go ahead and exit out of this for now. Now take over Ronnie's brewery to let him know who's boss. Okay, I like, still so got the squad selected, so let us attack. Gotcha. Actually, hold on. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Uh, he's healing slowly, but uh, let's see. How do you use inventory? Oh, I button. Okay. Simple wound kit, heals amounts 30. Okay. Alright. Well, we'll I'll just go in there. Confirm. You need to move oh. Breweries are well guarded, and this is a tough fight. Okay. So these guys. Let's see, we're looking at three guards. So one, two, three guards there. Those guys are just civvies, huh? Okay. So I could shoot him twice from where I'm at. Um, 
Let's see, we're all going to go, so this guy's going to be dead before that. So let's position ourselves against the other two. So we'll go ahead and move here. Gotcha. And then we'll go ahead and... Shoot him in the face. All right, Mr. Shotgun. Ten four. I wonder if you can shoot your friends here, so we'll find out here. Uh, let's see. There we go. It's a little finicky getting the targeting done. Um, so what we'll do is we'll move here, her up here so she has cover, and then we'll put her on Overwatch. And then if that guy pops around the corner, get a few shots on him. And we're all in cover, so excellent. And this guy, I'll just have to run up. Can he take a shot? No. Okay. Excellent. So things worked out exactly as I was hoping. Uh, let's see. He's going to be dead. Uh, let's see. I get to 98% there, 93% there. So let's go ahead and move there. And yeah, see, it's a little finicky. I wonder if I could change that. All right, so just click attack. Oh, tab, tab changes target. Okay, that helps. All right, so you are just going to Oh, that's not very good accuracy there. The other option is I could just go up and hit a man, right? Is his melee attack not very good? Nope, 9 to 10 damage, huh? Okay. Versus that. Okay. So, let us uh, move up with the intention to eliminate these guys before they get to shoot back. Not good. Okay. Alright, hon. Go ahead and move up. And let's go ahead and fire. Oh, 22%. Is that cover really that good? Well, let's uh, let's spray and pray. Oh, sorry. Got to select left click, left click. Yep, that was bad. What the fuck? <laughs> I agree. But luckily, you got. All right, we lucked out. Oh, okay. Well, sorry, Hugh. Okay, Capone will just. Take out this guy. Okay. Let's roll. All right, shotgun to the face should work. Nice damage. Okay. And that should be it. Oh, we got a 38 revolver and a nail bat as well. Okay, so interesting loot. Uh, 333 bucks as well. So no complaints there. Take this racket over too. Breweries are critical to your empire. All right, Each so we can supply alcohol to a small number of records. Select takeover. It's free to set up a racket of the same type you took over. All right, it'll cost you to reach so... out to something else. Select brewery. How's brewery? Okay, who the fuck do you think you are? First, my bar, and then my brewery. All right. This is pointless. When you decide okay, so he that you want to talk these. face to face like a man, you know where to find me. Oh, I know where to find you. See you real soon. Okay, Ronnie O'Neill has summoned you for a sit down. Step outside the room. All right. Cool. So let's see. Okay. So we'll go ahead and step out. You got it. 
So now we got a brewery, so we got a another boss, a serious business. Oh, we'll let him they talk. Take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. Okay, that's Ronnie's safe house. Uh, so it looks like we got a weekly income of eight barrels of hooch. Um, and right now our weekly net income is negative $46 for these. I'm guessing we need the hooch in order to make these profitable, so interesting. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin our sit down. And we'll walk our butts over there. Thug occupied rackets. Okay, cool. And that's my speakeasy there, so. Alright. So, confirm. You've been a thorn in my side since you got here, Capone. Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You should go back to whatever hole you crawled out of back in New York. There ain't no room for you in Chicago. Hmm, should I pull a gun? Or do I just talk him down, huh? Uh, let's see. I really don't care for this guy, so... Let's do See, that. that's where you're wrong. There's plenty of them here. Just have to get rid of the dead weight. Calm down. If this is really how you want to do things, then we'll settle it here. Just remember, I tried to be nice. All right, so we got a combat coming up. You got a death wish, O'Neal? How about we make it come true? All right. This is a boss battle in the literal sense. Project. To win at this game, you need to be the last one standing. Take Ronnie out, and his empire is all yours. Got it. Okay. So looks like a couple thugs here. Bossy boss on boss. Let's see. So Ronnie. Alright, click that. I have a 78% chance to hit him from where I'm at. He's probably going to do his damage too, but at least take one shot, right? So let's do that. Ooh, he's got a lot of health like me. 150, huh? Alright, so let us run to the couch. I think. Where are his thugs? Let's find out. So my guys will take on his thugs. He has a couple meat packing guards, so this guy's going to die. That guy's going to come up and probably miss so uh yeah let's let's be smart gotcha take the cover here and force him to come out all right excellent so uh we we're both going to act before this meat packing guard so let's go ahead and just attack 65 percent oh yeah this left click right click thing Good hit. And she will move up. Why can't she move up? Is it left click, right click? Okay, well, let's see. 52%. 56% there, but then he gets his shot in, huh? Alright, why can't I move? Okay, let's rotate. Understood. There we go. Guess he had to rotate, and then... Oh, there's a third guy. Okay. I did not see that, but it's fine. We have a 52% chance. We're firing a burst fire. Alright, so let's go ahead and end his day. There we go. We got our hit in. And we're in better position to be protected against these guys. And then we'll see what my boss does. Alright. So, my boss can just get two shots on him. I think we'll just do that. Um, Rain of Fire, does it do more damage? Uh, let's see. Where's the damage? It doesn't say the damage. Okay. 
It does suppress him though, so. Well, let's take a shot first. There we go. Can't do the rain of fire, okay. We'll take another f shot. All right, let's see if he returns fire. Oh no, he's going for a punch. Okay, only nine damage, I can live with that. All right, do we take the boss out or do we worry about the little guys? Well, I think we're in good enough cover right now. We can just take some shots at this guy here, so. Uh, let's see, shotgun blast. Can I get anybody else? No, so. Just go ahead and shoot him once. Ah. Can't do much better than that range with a shotgun, dude. Although this guy gets pretty good defense, I guess. So. Alright, now they're at the table. Yeah, and I don't think he'll have a good chance of hitting from that range with that pistol, so. Okay. So, I think I can take another two shots, but I'm at two shots left overall. Oh, and I'm not at the wall, so either way. Let's see. Go ahead and move to this table. And... That's going to include my friends, huh? 72 and 53%, and it'll suppress them. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, cool. Taking a shot at me, alright. Alright, let's see, what are your hit chances? 80% on this guy, so if I were to do that, no, 50%. Um, but that would eliminate him, so let's take the shot. Nope. Okay. For Maria. Yeah, I think we could do that. There we go. No, he's switching walls. He does have a better shot on my boss. Um, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll, we'll go and smack gotcha. Ronnie. Nice 18 points of damage. I got enough hit points I can soak these shots here. Alright, uh, let's see. Copy that. Go ahead and move here. And let's... I can't just do a normal attack. Can I do a shotgun blast? Yeah, we can do that. 80% chance and I still miss. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and of course. run through my people. So it looks like you don't have to path around, so that's nice. And let's uh, drop some rounds here in our Tommy gun. Forty-seven percent chance, three times. Fuck? Yeah, that's the right response there, Maria. <laughs> uh, that guy's like, I don't want to get in the middle of any of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, no, we'll go ahead and take two shots. running away as I would too all right Do I want to go here yeah 70% chance to hit him and I got one shot left so might as well there we go Is that down him It does appear to be down. Okay. And Maria will move here. Again, we'll have to rotate. Entendido. And I think we'll just set Overwatch for now. Moving in. As you can see, great choice. AI is not the brightest, it looks like, for these meatpacking guards here, but... Um, 
see, what is this? The execution? Um, okay, well, we're just gonna melee this guy here. Gotcha. That shouldn't eliminate him. Alright. And then it looks like we do have to do the execution on Ronnie. That's the end of the fight for you. And luckily it is uh, covered up. Because, yeah, that's a bit violent. Alright. Oh, an M1911. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, the FBI doesn't like us. The Bureau of Prohibition doesn't like us. Uh, and Chicago Police don't like us for doing this. But we got a good, sizable payday. Um, and a cool pistol. So I should probably look at equipping. Meat Packers have been eliminated. You kill Ronnie O'Neill, the boss of the Meat Packers. Their entire empire is now yours. They had it coming. The war is over. That'll teach him. Congratulations! Them. You got your first safe house. Defend it at all costs. Your safe house gives you both defensive and offensive benefits. Got like it. everything else, your safe house needs security. It also has a small brewery in case the feds shut down everything else. You can upgrade as you need to, but to win at sin, you're going to need more than that. All right. right now, you will need to do the legwork, but eventually. You'll get an underboss to do your bidding while you command things from here. One last thing. To keep tabs on your empire, open the Empire Overview screen. Alright. Empire this Overview. Is your empire at a glance. Everything you need is here, and it goes pretty deep. You can see things like who runs the neighborhood, what people are drinking versus what you're serving, what others in the neighborhood are up to. You can see opportunity too. Optimize alcohol, get an underboss and an advisor, add some synergy bonuses, or even a hotel. Have a look around. Got when it. When you're ready, select the racket tab. Okay, so it looks like we got neighborhood bonuses. Uh, so there's bonus for just the neighborhood. Empire bonuses because I'm me. Um, lieutenant bonuses if we have them. Um, Alcohol, we're getting 10 times production, surplus deficit, so looks like we're getting two from our uh, safe house here. And we just got a income of, or we got a uh, 48 uh, jugs, barrels, barrels, we'll call them barrels. Uh, 48 barrels from probably taking over this place as well, so that's pretty cool. Racket synergies, um, own two rackets of one type and two rackets of another. Oh, that's very cool, it uses a... Uh, a poker hand kind of uh, bonus system so five of a kind gives you a 12.5 percent a hotel uh, let's see active hotel adds customers and adds a bonus to synergies okay and then your crew faction presence okay so let's go ahead and click on the tab that they want here the racket tab shows every racket you know about including those owned by others. You can see what level of upgrade they're at and compare your own. Now, select Customer. All right, so as you can see, this one here is a very powerful brewery, getting 32 barrels per week, I think is the time frame they're talking. Um, and you can see some of the incomes that are going. Ours, let's see, our uh, speakeasy isn't making any money yet, but... Uh, Oh, and you can see their upgrades. So they only have level one security, so this might be a place to hit, but we'll see who owns it. The customer tab shows how well you do in filling your rackets with customers. You can increase customers by upgrading your word of mouth advertising, locating next to other rackets, or improving your ambience. Next, open the finance screen. Okay, so zero out of 50 so far, but okay. Let's go to the finance screen. The finance tab gives you an overview of everything you're making and spending. Last, select alcohol. Okay. The alcohol tab gives you an overview on what's being made and where. You can see your upgrades here as well and how they can be improved. Okay. So swell. Yep. So that's what we got. Lots and lots of swell. Looks like you just got a mission. Get a better look at what you need to do by opening the mission screen. So, F3, we'll use the Here, keyboard commands. Here, list of active missions, as well as each mission's requirements and descriptions. You can toggle completed missions by selecting the Close tab. 
Your active mission will also appear on the main screen. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Yep, we definitely want that one. So, or that's just what our actual thing is. Okay. Let's see. Got it. Close the mission screen. You got it. So, F3 again, I'm guessing. Yep. You that need works. to get moving. Get a crew. Get records. Fortify them. Make allies and enemies. And take them out. That's how you own this city. Go get them, Kingpin. I'll see you around. Got it. All right. So, what now? Well, that's up to you, boss. You've got the tools to take over this city. How you do it is up to you. Take a look at your mission journal to get started. You've got to take this city piece by piece. If you want a suggestion, you can start by taking control of this neighborhood first. Good luck, Kingpin. Got it. All right. Got the Golden Lewis gun. Okay, so these were part of the pre-order. So, very cool. Um, let's see. Okay, you can pause time up here. Uh, current date and time. So, let's pause. Um, with that, I guess we'll go ahead and call our first video here. We just finished the tutorial. I definitely want to continue and uh, do a little bit more on this, so I'll definitely uh, be uploading another video shortly after this. Um, I'm guessing we're going to get at least one per day um, and uh, just get you guys acclimated to what the game's about and what it provides. And since it's Paradox, you know they're going to continue to uh, provide updates uh, via patches and things like that and of course expansions. So, so definitely looking forward to seeing uh, how this product will look in a year. Um, but with that, um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, really do uh, believe our channel is uh, growing in a nice way and we want to continue to produce content. You're going to see more than uh, uh, your fair share of different games being played on the channel by our, our team. So uh, with that, uh, I will bid you guys adieu.